everyone, it's your girl Charnel Gray, Certified Personal Trainer. And today for the beginner level series, I will be focusing on my upper body. So I hope you guys can join me for this at-home workout that you could do with no equipment that will take you 10 minutes to complete. It is a bit challenging this time around, but I know you guys can definitely do it. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so you can get new workout videos from me every Monday and a new vlog from me every Thursday. And also make sure to share this video with family and friends so they can get started on their fitness journey as well. Let's get started. For the first workout, we will be doing a modified burpee. You're going to stand on your tippy toes, bend down, and without putting your knees on the floor, you're going to walk your hands out. Once you're in a plank position, you're going to put your knees on the floor and do a modified push-up. Then you're going to bring your knees back up off the floor and walk your arms back in. Now if this is too difficult for you, what you can do is once you bend down, you can put your knees on the floor immediately and literally just walk your hands out and do a modified push-up. Don't pick your knees up off the floor and walk your hands back in. Try to keep your body parallel to the ground. You don't want to swing your hips too much. You want to keep it as straight as possible to keep your core muscles engaged. For this workout, we're doing it for one minute because it's such a great warm-up and I want you to do it as fast as possible. After each workout, we will take a 30 second rest period so that our muscles can get some time to recover before going on to the next workout. In the meantime, I do suggest that you guys get some water so you stay hydrated throughout this workout. As well, make sure you follow me on Instagram at OhSoLimitless so you guys can see regular fitness polls, health tips, and workout tips. This workout is called a prone Y and T workout. What you're going to do is lie on your stomach. You're going to start your arms off in a Y position and then rotate your arms backwards into a lower T position. Slide your arms back up to the beginning position, which is a Y position. You also want to make sure that you're pointing your thumbs to the sky to try and keep your arm muscles engaged throughout the whole workout. Remember, if you guys have any questions about a specific form or if you're doing something correctly or incorrectly, make sure you guys leave that question in the comment section below so that I can respond to you guys and help you actually do these workouts better on your own at home. If you guys have any further suggestions about kind of workout videos that you would like to see, or if you just want to give the video a thumbs up, you definitely can do that as well. Next are bodyweight tricep dips. You want to have your palms facing downwards, your fingers pointing towards your body, and your arms should be a bit wider than shoulder width apart. Lean back into your arms so that your butt will be lifted off the floor. Notice majority of my movement is happening at my elbows and not at my hips. I bend my elbows and my butt lowers to the ground. And when I extend my elbows, my butt raises from the ground. If you want to make this exercise harder for yourselves, then you can just walk your feet further out. Now I have a strong feeling that a lot of you are loving this workout at the moment. You're feeling the burn and you're getting a nice little sweat in from this 10 minute workout. So I do suggest that you guys share this video so that other friends and family can do this workout as well. I love spreading the love and honestly it's a fun way for all of us to get active and fit. For the next workout, we're gonna do air boxing. You gotta box, 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 box. You gotta keep your core tight, place one foot in front of the other, and fight like you have no other option at this moment. You wanna fight, 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 and give it your absolute all. I know your arms are absolutely tired right now, but you only got 10 seconds left where you have to give it your all, and then you get a rest. So keep pushing through, keep that core engaged, feel it all throughout your body, and keep knocking those people out for your life. If you feel like you still have energy after this workout video is completed, I do suggest that you either repeat this workout video one more time so that you can get a 20 minute workout done today, or you could click on another workout video from the beginner level series and get that workout done in 10 minutes as well.
For the last workout of the circuit, we will be doing arm walkouts. You're going to bend your knees and walk your arms out. If you need to bend more at your knees than I'm bending, please go ahead and do it. But for this workout, I do not want any other body part touching the floor except for your hands. You want to walk out into a plank position, but if that is too difficult for yourself, what you should do is just walk out as far as you can and walk your arms back in. Keep your core engaged throughout this whole workout, which we will be doing for one minute and try not to swing your hips. Now that we've completed the circuit one time, we're going to repeat it one more time, this time without my voice over. You're going to focus on these instructions that I told you from the first round and try to target those muscles to get those muscles nice and toned.
If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you do have any suggestions for future workout videos or ideas of things that you guys want to see, then also please let me know. Don't forget to share this video with friends and family so they could get some nice toned arms as well. And also, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked and enjoyed this workout.